the San Gorgonio Pass. It's located just outside Palm Springs, California. It is special because it is one of the first major test sites for wind power in the United States. If you've ever driven to the West Coast down I-10, I'm sure you've seen it pass you by. Look at the location. What makes this a good place to stick wind turbines? The topography here shows two mountains with a space in between. It is that space that creates a tunnel for wind to build up and funnel through. All this focused wind energy turns the wind turbines and generates electricity. Back in the early 80s, not everybody appreciated the installation of these turbines. People thought they looked ugly and that they scarred the landscape. Some people thought that turbines themselves could threaten the birds in the area. What's interesting now is that the community's perspectives have since changed. Today, travelers come from all over just to see the wind turbines. The wind turbines have become a part of Palm Springs' cultural identity. So when we design our energy systems, we know that it is just as important to consider the social implications of those systems as well as the technical needs met by those systems. How would you make a windmill? What design principles would you consider? Keep in mind, a wind turbine is used to make electricity using the wind's energy, while a windmill is used to perform a task immediately, like pumping water or milling grain. Today we will focus on windmills, because they're a little bit more simple to create using everyday objects. Let's think like a mechanical engineer. We're going to be working with a machine using moving parts. And a mechanical engineer always looks at basic design principles to build their ideas. First they have their idea, they imagine solutions, they build their prototypes, and then they evaluate their work. Can you use these same design principles to build your windmill and make sure that it is reliable? Reliability is very important when you're talking about energy because you depend on a continuous supply. To determine the reliability of your windmill, you'll need to test it multiple times. I already know that you're imagining solutions, so it's time that you get started. How reliable can you make your windmill using everyday objects?